evening, everybody, and welcome to Truckee Talks. My name is Ted Owens, and I'm sitting in for Maya Schneider, who's unable to be here this evening. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Earth Day and some of the uh, associated events with that. And I have with me, Brian, you're going to have to help me out, but wait, I'm going to try it. Brian von Losberg. Perfect. That's Hawaiian or something, isn't it? Uh, close. German. Hawaiian. German. German. Okay. Well, good. Welcome. Thanks very much. Good to have you here. Glad to be on. Uh, Brian, you're, uh, you're heading up the, the big event calendar that's coming up, and, uh, but before we get into that, mm -hmm. uh, let's find out a little bit about Brian and uh, where are you from and how would you end up up here in Tahoe? Uh, from Southern California originally. Um, grew up uh, down in La Cunada, but moved up to the Bay Area and then eventually moved up to Tahoe uh, just back in 2001, so a full-time resident as of July 2001. Hey, before we went on the air, we were talking a little bit about what your career was <laughs> and how your parents felt about volunteerism, but you were involved in the, the uh, high-tech industry? High-tech industry. I uh, currently willfully unemployed, uh, is the way I like to put it. Um, worked for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is a NASA lab down in Southern California uh, for a while, and then in uh, Silicon Valley uh, for a semiconductor equipment manufacturer. Uh, and then I quit in 2001 in July and decided I was going to take two years and do some environmental volunteer work. Uh, so uh, two years of unemployed living and volunteer work and pretty soon have to start being a responsible citizen again. Well, actually, th you know, I, I applaud you. The volunteerism <laughs> is uh, probably more work than work. So yeah, it's been a lot. Uh, good to have you here. And, and you're living now, your family married? Uh, not, not married. <laughs> I'm living down in Homewood on the West Shore. No kids, just two cats. Uh, my two dependents are two cats, and uh, my brother's also uh, living with me uh, over in Homewood. Excellent. Now, you didn't claim those as dependents on no, your tax? Okay, no. Okay, good. Okay, well, welcome. Let's talk about uh, the North Tahoe, or oh, it's Truckee, uh, Tahoe Truckee Earth Day Festival. Right. Um, before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about what Earth Day is, when did it begin, and who started it? So, it's like the what is the meaning of life sort of question, very, very broad. <laughs> um, uh, Earth Day actually dates back uh, kind of interesting. Um, in the 60s, Senator Gaylord Nelson from Wisconsin uh, was very concerned that environmental issues weren't really in the national spotlight. And so uh, he tried for years to bring them more into the political limelight. And eventually, through um, Robert Kennedy and, and JFK, uh, got JFK to do this nationwide conservation tour, um, hoping that this would bring you know, environmental matters uh, into, the, into the spotlight. It didn't work, unfortunately, but he kept talking about it and uh, crisscrossing the country talking about environmental matters. And eventually in 1970, uh, from some of what he had witnessed with the anti-Vietnam War uh, rallies and protests, uh, got the idea for this springtime event that wound up manifesting itself as Earth Day. So the first one was April 22nd, uh, 1970. And um, it's kind of interesting how it blossomed from this event that literally he as a senator and his staff were working on uh, into this you know, multinational uh, sort of celebration. And to, bring, to bring a level of awareness to, to people about right. environmental movement, uh, right. conservation, that, that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, now we have, um, well first, how did, how did you get involved? You, you know a lot about it. Uh, <laughs> did you just decide to do this or did you have a knowledge or an understanding of it or an affiliation with it before, say, when you were working? Not, not really at all. Um, I, it's kind of funny. Um, my involvement with Earth Day uh, up here at Tahoe Truckee Festival uh, literally stemmed from getting on my bike in Homewood, uh, driving up to Tahoe City, riding up to Tahoe City, uh, walking into the League to Save Lake Tahoe office and saying, I'm here, I just quit my job and put me to work. Uh, what kind of events are going on? Um, so I wound up meeting a woman named Catherine Parsons from the League to Save Lake Tahoe. That, that office is closed now. They've moved over to Incline. But she got me involved uh, with the planning committee. And so I just showed up on the planning committee and we started uh, uh, working on last year's event. And um, a lot of people in the basin know uh, Heather Segali and she works for the Lake Tahoe Environmental Education Coalition. And so Catherine got me involved with Heather. And anyone who knows Heather can appreciate that I, I sent her an email one evening same sort of thing, I'm here, get me involved. <laughs> and I think by 8 o'clock the next morning, uh, she had called on the phone and had 25 different things for me to get involved with. Uh, so she's also on the planning committee. And that's literally, I just showed up and um, I guess it's a, a warning because you, you show up, you get involved, and the next year you wind up chairing the, the committee. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's exactly how it works. I tried to learn from. <laughs> now, uh, 
was there a lot of fundraising involved in the past year to, to uh, try to cover this event? Yeah. And, it, and tell us a little bit about that. What type of folks sure, uh, were you hitting? Sure. It's an uh, uh, all-volunteer planning committee. Um, we start going in October, November uh, of the preceding year. Uh, this year we've got um, a representative, Madonna Dunbar from Sierra Nevada College. Uh, I mentioned Heather and Catherine. Uh, myself, uh, Dan Wilkins, the town of Truckee uh, engineer, and uh, his wife, Suzanne Wilkins, and then Sarah Tone from um, Incline Village uh, Waste Not Program. Uh, so we all get together. It's all just people donating their time, and they, uh, we, we start contacting all these different kinds of organizations. So some of our big sponsors this year, uh, California State Parks uh, made a really generous donation, so they're a big part of it. Uh, North Star at Tahoe provides the facilities for the event. Um, uh, the groups that are on the bottom of the poster, a lot of those are organizations that people on the planning committee are involved with. Uh, so Waste Not, um, uh, Serotone is involved with that. UC Davis. Town of Truckee. Town of Truckee. Truckee Noon Rotary Club. Keep Tahoe Blue organization. Radio stations. Yeah, we'll so. have uh, the X100.1 uh, up from mm -hmm. Reno uh, doing some CD giveaways and hopefully a live remote uh, from the we'll facility as well. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Now the event, the event is, is scheduled uh, You've got a film festival on Thursday, April 17th, and uh, then you've got Earth Day Festival on uh, Saturday, April 19th. Let's, let's break it into two parts. Tell sure. me about the film festival, what, what type of films, and what's that supposed to be about? Sure. The, uh, the <laughs> film festival is sort of a kickoff to the event for us. Um, it's a more intimate, smaller event uh, on this coming Thursday, uh, the 17th. It's over in Incline Village uh, at the Parasol Building, which has this very long name. I think it's the w Donald uh, W. Reynolds Community Nonprofit Center <laughs> okay. uh, over in Incline Village. It's a pretty new building, but it's a great facility. A lot of the nonprofit groups, League to Save Lake Tahoe has an office in there. The Tahoe Rim Trail has an office in there. I'm just going to stop you there just sure. for a second so that the folks at home can get a pencil and write down the address. This is for the film festival. Uh, at 948 Incline Way in Incline Village, and uh, known as the Par Parasol Building. Parasol so, Building, okay. right. Um, so we have six different films we're going to show uh, at the festival. Um, they range from some 90-second commercials uh, about Lake Tahoe that uh, Heather and the Lake Tahoe Environmental Education Coalition have done. Uh, there's a couple animated uh, films that will be in there. There's a, one called Turtle World and one, uh, The Lorax, which is a Dr. Seuss uh, story. About are, are they all centered around? All sort of have an environmental the theme to them, um, environmental theme to it. The last part of the evening, the last two films, uh, one of them is called Journey to Planet Earth, which is a current PBS uh, show, actually. So this is one section of this series that's ongoing. And it's called, the, the segment we're showing is called On the Brink. And it's pretty interesting because it really deals with national security issues now and ties national security issues to uh, environmental issues. And they do this by doing some case studies all around the planet, like in Africa and I Mexico. would imagine the, the association being closely tied to water and... Uh, water, uh, grassland, uh, loss, um, water's a big one, soil erosion, water scarcities, those kind of themes. Now is there, uh, uh, let's see, it go, this runs on April 17th from 7 to 10.30 p.m. Right. Is there uh, um, a little get-together or things, uh, intermission, is there a, a public part of it or, or anything like that? First of all, like it's that? free, <laughs> which is always good. Free is free, very popular. Free. <laughs> um, it's, uh, there'll be some food and drink there. Um, Lake Tahoe Brewing Company very graciously has donated a, a keg of beer uh, for us to have at the event, uh, but it's all free and we'll have an intermission and an opportunity for people to talk and we'll introduce each of the films and what the big topics are that the films uh, touch on. How appropriate uh, uh, is uh, the film festival to bring children to? Oh, uh, very, very much so. Um, last year we had one film that uh, got a little bit um, very difficult subject material. It had to do with uh, animals and animal cruelty. Um, but we've warned people in advance. Uh, this year, actually, I don't think we have anything that of that type. Of that type. Um, the, the latter films are the more serious one after intermission, so we tried to break it up that if uh, three hours, three and a half hours was too long for a family and it got too late, uh, the first part of the festival does have the, like, the animated features and it's a little less serious, so uh, it might break it up well that way. Now, um, also, is there a... Uh, 
seating requirement? Is it first come, first serve? Are there tickets in advance? How, how are you handling that? Uh, good that? question. Uh, no tickets in advance. First come, first serve. We don't expect to have a problem. Last year we had the festival at uh, Sierra Nevada College, and I think we fit about 50 or 60 people there. We've actually got room for closer to um, 80 to 100 people at uh, the Parasol building. So uh, it is first come, first serve, but I wouldn't expect there to be an issue. Okay. So that's the first event, and that, that's Thursday, April 17th, 7 to 10.30 p.m. at the Parasol Building at 948 Incline Way in Incline Village. And uh, then, of course, we have the Earth Day Festival, which follows on the Saturday, uh, April 19th, and that's held at uh, North Star. Why don't you give me the uh, that's That's the one that's on giving that. me more gray hair than the, than the film festival. Uh, so <laughs> you touched on the, on the main uh, parts of it. Um, Saturday, April 19th, North Star, uh, 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock, we'll... Uh, start pretty promptly at 10 o'clock. There's a whole lineup of music throughout the day, uh, starting with the Dawaga All Nations Drum Group. Uh, they'll kick things off at 10 o'clock. And um, then at the end of the day, our headliner group is called the Itals. So they're coming in from Jamaica. It's a reggae group. They've played uh, the Tahoe area quite a bit uh, in the past, over the past several years. So they'll wrap things up. And in between, we've got uh, the Blues Monsters, which a lot of people are familiar with locally and um, a group called the Flying Other Brothers with G.E. Smith and, and Pete Sears. And people might know those names. G.E. Smith was actually the leader of the Saturday Night Live band. And then uh, Pete Sears, I think, has been playing with Hot Tuna. So we've got music all day. The stage is uh, pretty neat. It's powered by a solar panel array uh, that we bring up. A company called Independent Power uh, comes up from Reno. And I think that's a great part of the festival. They, they come up and provide all the the power for the stage. I, I read that. Now, are they, are they affected if we have uh, inclement <laughs> weather? or? Uh, Fortunately, or they have a uh, very, <laughs> very big battery uh, pack. So um, if need be, they'll, they'll run off their batteries. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed uh, for some sunshine on, on Saturday. Very good. Now, um, North Star is a big place. Uh, where specifically should someone sure. drive to when they go to uh, this event? If, if they come, the, first of all, there's uh, free trolley service uh, that will be running both from Truckee and uh, from Taha Vista, I believe. Um, and I would encourage people to go to the website. It's um, Tahoe Truckee Earth Day, <laughs> all together, one word, dot org. And we've got on one of the links a, a traffic schedule, um, trolley schedule, so people can make use of that if need be. Um, once they get to North Star, just park anywhere, standard parking, where you would if you were going to go skiing. And then when you come into the village area, we'll have booths all throughout the village, um, working down the village to the stairway uh, where the gondola steps is that, are. Is that where the bands are going to be? Actually, no. That, there'll be booths down there, <laughs> and there's a couple hybrid uh, vehicles, hybrid gasoline electric uh, vehicles that will be down in the village area. Then um, to the right, uh, people know it as the Pedro's deck or the Cipollini's mm -hmm. deck. Uh, there'll be a bouncy house for the kids and um, some booths there more focused on, on children. You know, um, I think actually, you know, bouncy house for the adults. Would probably I tried to go a, in the bouncy yeah, house, but the adults. Uh, I was a little heavy for it. <laughs> <laughs> but then the main, um, the, the deck area above, which is the chaparral deck uh, that goes out into the snow area, that's where the bands will be, that's where the stage will be. And then the chaparral room, which is where the Alpine bar is, um, will have... Uh, 30 some odd other booths inside. So chaparral room, deck, and then the village area. If you walk through North Star, you won't be able to miss it. Okay, now you've got a whole slew of things. First off, I gotta ask you, I see on your poster here, that you're going to have earth-friendly vendors. <laughs> I've, I've never been to an event um, with earth-friendly vendors. And What is an earth-friendly vendor? Well, uh, the first one that comes to mind is a, a group um, from Reno called Amazon Herbs, which is, we were talking about herbs before. Um, so they'll well, be let's clarify that. <laughs> it's not Herb Day. talking about cooking. Yes, it's not Herb Day. <laughs> it's Earth Day. Um, uh, Amazon Herbs uh, is a, a lady, uh, Sue Fritz, and she'll be up. She participated last year, and so she's got a, uh, a setup with um, different sort of organic uh, herbs and Amazon-related goods. So we count that as an earth-friendly well, vendor. this is public access television, let's move on from the <laughs> herb discussion and we'll move right to the uh, hands-on activities. I was most fascinated with those. Uh, I would imagine you're going to have things like what face painting for kids, face and painting all for that kids, and clowns and balloons. And the parents might not like us for that, but we, we, it has been a hit with the kids, so we figure we have to have that. No, oh, it's it's wonderful uh, that that paint state the way it, it it adheres to leather interiors on autom in automobiles. I think is fantastic. If you time it right, you can do the face painting, and then they can go into the bouncy house, get it all over, and then R with <laughs> and have some ice cream at the same time. Right. So, okay. 
Now, but there's a, a great scavenger hunt for the kids. I was going to ask mention. you about that. Yep. Uh, so SWEP uh, is Sierra Watershed Education Partnerships, and they'll be doing a scavenger hunt uh, specifically for the kids, and there'll be a raffle prize uh, at the end of that. And what the kids do is they go out to the different booths and vendors, and they'll have questions that they're trying to get answers to, and they get those answers and then turn in their form, and we'll have that as part of the raffle, um, uh, giving a prize for someone who completes it. Now this event, it goes from, uh, it starts at 10 in the morning, right. uh, this Saturday, the 19th, and it runs to 6 p.m. So there are, the events are occurring all during the day, and then the raffle, when, it, when, are, you, when are you gonna be doing the drawing for the raffle, end of the day? <laughs> yeah, that's important stuff. Yeah. Uh, three o'clock actually is when we'll do, <coughs> we'll do the raffle. Um, and I think our grand prize this year is a free season pass, either a midweek season pass or season pass, I'm forgetting They're different things, I they think are, it's They are different. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think they upped it though, actually. You'll have Tim Silva rolling over <laughs> going, Whoa. So that's the grand prize. You have to be present to win the, uh, the main prize, but all the other um, uh, donations for the, for the raffle are, uh, you have to be present to win, actually, okay. for, for those. The, the other one, I'm sorry, I got it reversed. The, the, the mid-season pass, uh, you can not be there. If okay. You get what kind of other prizes? Sort of uh, variety of things. So there's not just one winner. You've got right. Wolfdale's in Tahoe City has donated a generous <coughs> gift certificate. Uh, a few other restaurants, uh, Firesign Cafe uh, down on the West Shore has donated. Mm -hmm. um, some uh, there's the local artist J T Revise who's done the book. Uh, they've donated. Um, he and his wife have donated several uh, smaller versions of their photo book, and we're going to be giving some of those out as well. Excellent. Now. Uh, was this event held at North Star last year? Yes. And uh, how well attended was it? It was great. Uh, we were really surprised last year, actually. It was a big jump for us. Uh, we had probably two to 3,000 people at the event. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people there for the, the skiing, <laughs> but um, it was a great draw. Pre before that, there had been a couple Earth Day festivals. I wasn't up here at the time yet, um, but they were a couple hundred people. Uh, in attendance, you know, good but smaller local community events, and we were blown away with the participation last year. You know, 60 some odd booths, um, two to 3,000 people through the day. We were running around with counters, and uh, we had Mumbo Gumbo play uh, last year as our headlining act, so it was a, it was a great crowd. I'm gonna um, break in just a moment and, and run off some phone numbers for people while they okay. grab a pencil, but I'll ask you another question, and that is, Aside from this, I know Maya Schneider really wanted to get you on the program here so that the word can get out to Truckee, but how are you trying to access and get people uh, aware of uh, the event, right. say, over at the lake, and how big an area are you targeting? Um, uh, in terms of, like, advertising and, mm -hmm. and such, uh, so we've had a couple articles. Uh, Tahoe World has carried a nice article, and they'll be carrying another one uh, this week, and hopefully those will also be running in the Bonanza and the Sierra Sun. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed about that. Uh, the North Tahoe Truckee this week, uh, weekly with the color uh, front page, has had a nice full page article on it and, um, and cover picture and announcement. Um, this has been a great venue for us. And uh, there are some radio ads running on KTHX um, that are discussing the event as well. Um, in in Truckee, I think the great thing this year is the fact that we've actually got two people on the planning committee. Uh, uh, Dan Wilkins and Suzanne Wilkins. So that's been fantastic, and I really wanted to, to thank uh, Truckee Noon Rotary for their uh, sponsorship this year. You made a presentation. Um, to made a presentation to them, and uh, we've worked with Janet Mitchell in the town of Truckee office, and so she's been getting the posters out and getting some of the information displayed various places. So, uh, and what encouraged. we're talking about for the folks at home, we're talking about the Tahoe Truckee Earth Day uh, celebration uh, film festival, actually, this evening, April 17th over in Incline Village, 7 to 10.30 p.m. at the Parasol Building. And uh, Earth Day uh, celebration, the festival, Saturday, April 19th, uh, from 10 to 6 p.m. That's at North Star at Tahoe. Now, for more information, I don't know if we have the number showing or not, but your number is 775-832-4138, and there's the email address as well. Um, very good. So we got we got some information out there for the folks at home. Yeah, the, the website is really <laughs> helpful. Actually, we've got tons of information on the website at TahoeTruckeeEarthDay.org. Uh, like I said, the the um, uh, schedule for the uh, trolley service and then all of the participants and the sponsors. So if you can go to the website, you can get all the information you need. Excellent. Now. Uh, do you have any local dignitaries speaking, perhaps, at this event? <laughs> Are you available to come? Uh... <laughs> Saturday, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. Well, I think you've done a great job. And uh, now, uh, Brian, tell me, how many people, who was very instrumental in helping you 
put this together? Who was your right hand man uh, that you'd like to thank? So anyone who knows Heather knows that <laughs> nothing gets done in the basin, I'm convinced, without Heather Segali's uh, uh, effort. Um, and I think I didn't mention Jill Sarek, actually. Jill Sarek um, is with uh, Adopt the Watershed, one of the sponsors. So Jill, Heather, um, Madonna Dunbar from Sierra Nevada College, they were all really instrumental with Catherine Parsons from the league uh, last year. and. We wouldn't be able to pull it off this year again without their help. Janet Ayton Morning uh, and Lindsay Velk are two people at North Star. Um, you know, North Star very graciously donates uh, facilities for the event. Mm -hmm. And Janet's help last year and this year, uh, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to do it without with, her. With Tim Silva over there. Uh, not He's the GM. OK, right? actually, yeah. He's the contact, yes. good yeah. guy. Uh, tell me, do you have a backup plan if it's raining or snowing? <laughs> Since we have an unusual year this year, we have winter and the back, spring. And the backup plan is just to have fun. <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the weather. I think Heather said she was going to put her snow tires back on her truck, which just pretty much guarantees then that we're nothing will happen. Have, It'll be you know, sunny, good sunny and warm. weather, right? So okay. Now you're also going to have uh, food and drink, so people don't have to worry about that, right? Food and drink. Uh, one of the key things this year. <laughs> uh, what we're trying to improve from last year is we're trying to make it a, a low waste or a zero waste. We want we want quite achieve zero waste event, but um, trying to use more recyclable materials for the food and uh, serving of the food. So Madonna Dunbar has been heading up that effort for us this year, and I wanted to thank North Star. They've been very receptive to helping us on that uh, initiative, and we'll see how that goes, and we'll try and build on that for future years. And you'll have information out there so that you know attention is drawn to what you're trying to get right. people to observe. Right. And, there'll be all sorts and, uh, of recycling uh, containers. There'll be signs on it. Uh, we're going to be doing some composting, not right front and center at the event. I was going to say. <laughs> it's going to make Recycle it the beer, recycle the food right there. And, okay. Full circle compost <laughs> yeah. from uh, Reno is uh, helping out with the, uh, the compost activity and hauling away the stuff at the end of the day. Excellent. Now, um, I would imagine you jumped right on the bandwagon for next year, too, right? <laughs> See, now, th wait. this is how I got stuck with this year. <laughs> Good. I've got a few other projects uh, for you. We just have a, a moment. Uh, I'm Ted Owens. This is Truckee Talks. I'm here with uh, Brian von Losberg, who is heading up the uh, Tahoe Truckee Earth Day uh, celebrations this weekend. Uh, why don't we put, if we can, on the screen again, the information on how to contact uh, Brian or how to get information. You've got a telephone number there for information. Is that will they speak with a person? Do you have a tape? That there? actually is Heather Segali's phone number, so you'll get Heather. I can also just tell you okay. um, you and, can call me. And Heather likes phone calls after 10 p.m. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I typically get emails from her at one o'clock in the morning from okay, her good. office. Okay, good. So she's up. And then you have the website there. We're showing that address so right. people can get more information. Right. And uh, Brian, good luck with this. Thanks I, very I, much. I will be by on Saturday. I think uh, fantastic. It'd be fun to see and uh, interesting for everybody to uh, stop by and learn a little bit about uh, environmentalism, and conservation, and uh, recycling efforts. I think and it's I exciting. Really, I really want to see how this solar-powered uh, stage is going to work with the bands. Yeah, I was very nervous so. about that last year, and it worked. It worked uh, really well. So another thing that I wanted to draw attention to is. Um, we'll have two hybrid vehicles. I think I might have mentioned that before. Um, ben Solomon brought his from uh, last year's uh, uh, Toyota, and I'll have mine again this year, so it's interesting for that. Excellent. Well, you know, I, I, I really uh, you know, applaud the efforts. I think Thank that you. Uh, you know, all good things don't just start quickly telling the story about the senator that began the whole notion uh, way back in the early 1960s. So this is a 40-year-old uh, effort that has probably taken off more in the last 20 years. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I certainly wish you the best of luck in the next 20. Thanks uh, very that much. You'll, that you'll be handling the North uh, Lake Tahoe and Truckee uh, Earth Day Festival. <laughs> Brian, thanks very much for Thank joining us. Thank you very much. Us. Appreciate the opportunity. I'm Ted Owens. This is Truckee Talks. We're going to take a break, and we'll come right back with uh, uh, some community event announcements. Thank you. Good evening and welcome back to Truckee Talks. I'm Ted Owens with your calendar of regional events for the week of April 16th. The Easter Bunny returns on April 19th. You can attend the Easter Egg Hunt and Crazy Hat Contest at the Regional Park. This annual event always features the Easter Bunny, fun for kids and grown-ups alike. Call 582-7720 for details. At Squaw Valley, USA, the Payne McSchlanke Open will be held the 19th and 20th. This is a weekend of silly events, including outrageous costumes, skiing and boarding, and live music. Or go to Alpine Meadows for their annual trough crossing. Test your skills and waterproofing in your wildest costume. 
Winners receive passes for the 0304 ski season. Call Alpine Meadows at 581-8328. On April 19th, the Earth Day Festival will return to North Star at Tahoe. Educational and environment booths, arts and crafts, kids' activities, food, and live music. Go out to North Star and celebrate the Mother Earth. On April 20th, North Star, Squaw, and Alpine will host more Easter activities with Easter egg hunts and fun activities. Call your favorite resort for details. April 26th and 27th is the Sierra Nevada Builders Conference at the North Tahoe Conference Center. Call CAT, the Contractors Association for Truckee Tahoe, for more details at 550-9999. I want to thank our guests for being on today's show. If you have any comments or suggestions, call Maya, don't call me, and call her at home, 587-4982. Thanks to the crew and to Maya. She'll be back with you next week. I'm Ted Owens. Thank you very much for watching. Good evening.